Hello, I'm Regina Rowland and I'm introducing you to SDG 15, Life on Land. The main goal for this SDG is to protect, restore and promote sustainable use of terrestrial ecosystems, sustainably manage forests, combat desertification and halt and reverse land degradation and halt biodiversity loss. Life on the planet depends on biological diversity, which means the variability among living organisms from all sources, terrestrial, marine, and other aquatic ecosystems, and ecological complexes of which they're part. This includes diversity within species, between species, and of ecosystems. Life on the planet is threatened by land degradation, for instance which is caused by multiple forces, including extreme weather conditions, particularly drought. It is also caused by human activities that pollute or degrade the quality of soils and land utility. It negatively affects food production, livelihoods, and the production and provision of other ecosystem goods and services. Desertification is a form of land degradation by which fertile land becomes desert, Deforestation is another form. So what is desertification? It is the persistent degradation of dry land ecosystems by variations in climate and human activities. These dry lands are home to over a third of the entire human population, and they occupy nearly half of the Earth's land area. What is deforestation? It refers to the cutting, clearing, and removal of natural forests. Lost forests mean the disappearance of livelihoods in rural communities, increased carbon emissions, diminished biodiversity, and the degradation of land. Human life is threatened by zoonotic diseases. These are infectious diseases transmitted from non-human animals to humans, like the like HIV or the coronavirus, rabies or salmonellosis. They tend to begin as zoonosis, but later mutate into human-only strains. So let's look at a model of biodiversity for ecosystem health. In all ecosystems, there are organisms that make the ecosystem work, basically, that exchange nutrients and materials among each other. These are called ecosystem services, and you can uh, divide them into four types. So there are services for provisioning, for instance, food and raw materials. Then there are ecosystem services for regulating the air quality regulation or climate regulation or water. There are ecosystem services for supporting processes, so nutrient cycling or photosynthesis or soil formation. And then there are services that support cultural aspects, such as uh, material and psychological health, or recreation and ecotourism. This um, SDG has nine targets and three measures to learn from and use as a guideline for making contributions. The report 2020 will show you what exactly is going on globally for this SDG. And the Euro European Statistics site will allow you to compare different aspects of this SDG in different countries. So I encourage you to go to those sites and uh, read those details and see if that gives you some ideas how you might uh, contribute, you individually or you in your organization. When we look at the implementation for the targets in Austria as of 2020, we can see that we're well on the way for making the appropriate contributions, but there's still some main issues to solve in Austria. For instance, loss and endangerment of species. This is also going on in Austria. Loss and endangerment of habitats goes along with uh, the loss of species. And soil degradation and soil sealing. We are masters in Austria for soil sealing. So what could organizations do to contribute to this goal? First, we want to think about what is the core purpose of this organization? 
who the internal and external stakeholders are, how this SDG impacts the organization, and what challenges or costs emerge from this impact, and on the other hand, what opportunities or benefits arise at the same time. And then we're ready to design contributions, so actions, inward actions, and outward actions. Difference would be that all the inward actions can be controlled by the organization and the outward actions are um, possibilities to impact what's going on, but the organization can't control uh, what all these elements can con contribute. Let's look at educational institutions. The task lies here in teaching and researching ways to protect, restore, and promote sustainable use of terrestrial and freshwater ecosystems. An inward action, for instance, could be to engage students in conservation activities, either around the institution or as field trips. An outward action could be to collaborate on projects for green buildings and decarbonization. What could towns, cities, and villages do? They should protect endangered species and local ecosystems through regulations and policies and educate the public. So an inward action, for instance, could be to plan local projects to increase untouched areas for nature and stop sealing soil with concrete. An outward action could be to collaborate with neighboring towns to raise awareness about the state of biodiversity in the region and co-design potential actions to improve it. Or to co-initiate public projects on community gardening and thereby also increase bird and butterfly populations and beehives in the area. What might organizations do? So that's businesses and not-for-profit organizations. They should measure and reduce their impact on natural land and lobby for others to join them in this effort. An inward action, for instance, could be to invest only in funds or companies that guarantee preservation of life on land. An outward action could be to cooperate with neighboring companies on generating green areas and or planting trees in the immediate neighborhood. Then the slide deck takes you to an activity where you can go through the same kind of thinking and development for an organization of your choice. And it also allows you or provides reflection questions to double check your thinking to make sure that you are moving with your designs into systemic sustainability. Then you'll find reflect, general reflection questions on the content offered in this slide deck and more resources. And eventually we invite you to join us in the SDG journey where you're asked to observe in your own environment under the SDG 15 umbrella for a week. So you might be noticing about the status quo of nature surrounding you. What restoration efforts can you observe? and how people in your neighborhood connect to nature, things like that. That was it for this SDG. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in another.